Welcome, welcome. This has to be my favorite webcast by far of the year. I just love the holidays and I just really think that clothes get a little extra thinking about in the holidays and we can do anything and kind of get away with it. Like we can put glitz all over stuff and kind of get away with it. So I think it's really fun. I think especially for females, it's a really fun time of year to do whatever. And just for the record, after this web, it might end early tonight because I have somebody holding something hostage that they'll give me some chocolate afterwards because they're all eating chocolate behind the scenes and they're not sharing. <laughs> so we might end in 10 minutes just so I can get my chocolate. Now we've got lots of fun. I, I have shopped like never ever before. Man, have I shopped. Because there's so many beautiful things out there and the ideas just keep coming. So tonight also I took some photos and wanted you to kind of see where, how I get the ideas. And you can see I loosely translate them, but you know, I think that might help you also do the same thing. I know many of you have said, oh, like, I don't like to shop. You can shop for me. I, I get that. I got that. Um, I got that down too. I think I shop enough for all of us. Um, and so also tonight we have um, some business. We'll wait till the end to kind of do that because I've got you know, I hate for you if you watch this over and over to hear all that. At least you can cut out early <laughs> if you don't want to hear that. We've got some um, Facebook stuff. We've got some PBS stuff. We've got um, a sew along we're going to talk about. So all that business stuff I'll just kind of leave to the end. Okay, so we're going to get started. And I want to kind of start from the easiest because all of these were supposed to be easy holiday ideas. So that means... There were no jackets with linings, you know, nothing like that. I think personally a wonderful jacket at the holidays really takes you a long way. But I didn't want to do that. I know everyone's busy. We got lots to do. But I think it's really fun to take some time out for moi, me, and just do a little bit of sewing. You can clearly see I've taken a little bit of time out. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Again, we're going to start with these photos. Let's go to the first photo. Any questions? Are Any questions? Are we at the get-go? We're okay? All right, let's start with this first photo because they're so prominent. So I kind of combined several different designers. This is actually Eileen Fisher, and this is a velvet blouse. And velvet, gosh, my goodness. I don't think I could have predicted how saturated this would be in out there and, and ready to wear. Velvet, stretch velvet, it's all over the place. So I love the light blue. I, I just love it. I don't have light blue. I can't. Well, light blue for me is not a good color, and I wanted it to be holiday, so I went to this red. So it's a little red velvet. Now our pattern, this is pattern number 600, it's just such a classic, and our pattern even has a pocket on it. But I decided I didn't want the pocket, so I left the pocket off. You can have the pocket. But there are a couple things I want to show you that I think are really fun. So I didn't do anything different to this blouse. I, I did, I take that back. <laughs> Sometimes I say, I didn't do anything different, and it, I did things different, and I don't even remember what differences I did because I just, it's so automatic. But because it's a stretch velvet, 600 is for a woven, and I took my knit sleeve and put it onto my, and my knit sleeve and my knit armhole, and I put it onto my woven blouse. So this actually is a smaller armhole than what a woven blouse would be. And if you look at this picture, you can kind of see how that blouse sleeve, how large it is and this is a, a stretch woven I mean a knit I'm sorry this is a velvet knit stretch velvet it's called I'm sorry you guys stretch velvet so I went and saw that top and it's a beautiful blouse it really is pretty but it is a stretch blouse so when you put it on the sleeves are too big and that's what gave me the idea well gosh I shouldn't wear that I should wear something closer so I used my knit sleeve and knit armhole and put it into my woven body. I didn't make the woven body any smaller. I didn't change size, even though I'm using a stretch, um, a stretch velvet. I really didn't want it tight. I just wanted it to fit and then the sleeves. So I love it. I really love it on. And let me, I want to show you a little thing I did. The, the fabric, sorry, was 2073, pattern 600. Brunello Cuccinelli. Brunello, B-R-U, all you have to do is, is, enter in Brunello, B-R-U-N-E-L-L-O, and his name will probably come up because I don't know if there's too many of them, but Brunello Cuccinelli is an Italian designer 
very high end. I mean, even like in Neiman's, he's on the upper floor, not the lower floors. The lower floors is for the less expensive cheap or cheap expensive and the upper floors are for the super expensive. So he's on the upper floors. But he does something on a lot of his blouses that I've been working on kind of getting for a while. And it, I know it's hard to see close up, but it is really just beautiful. All along the edge here, there's a little chain. It's just a very, very small chain. I'm gonna give you the number so you can probably go online. So many of you tell me you've got a computer up to where you can look and then something else. So this is number um, 2104. 2104, it's called a BB chain. There's actually two chains I put up, but it is very fine. Now his is um, very expensive. I went into, he has a boutique here in Dallas at our Highland Park Village, which is really high end. And I went in and I actually asked him about the chain and it is treated and it's done all kinds of super spectacular things and it's pretty pricey, but it is all hand woven. It can't, it doesn't have an edge to it. It can't be put on by the sewing machine. It's all hand woven, but his blouses are probably 700 up like to several thousand. So I just really like the look and it's put all over the place. And then this fall, what I noticed is St. John started to do it. They started to put it on their clothes. So you can put it just about anywhere. Just look around, do your homework. And I put it up the edge of this blouse. I put it on both sides of that front tab. And I just think it's beautiful. I mean, it's really pretty. I had liked it in the get go. So you, you may not like it and it just may not be something you even want to think about. But if you do, we've got a couple chains and both would be really beautiful. It's definitely not just for holidays. It, it's really all year round. He, he uses it in the summer, Brunello, Cuccinelli. Can you wash the velvet? Absolutely. You guys, if you have not sewn with velvet for a while, if you're a little bit afraid of velvet, do not fear this velvet. It's a polyester velvet. Having said that, I've worn several pieces of it. It isn't hot. I'm not sure if it's just me or what, but it's not hot. It's really nice. The back is very soft. Poly means it presses well. It doesn't make marks when you press. It, it, all of those things. It's really, really nice. Throw it in the washer, throw it in the dryer. I didn't have any problem. Where should the collar of 600, where should the collar of 600, the classic block, sit at the back of the neck? Touching it, I've already taken a dart between the shoulder blades to raise the neckline what should I try next? Um, well, a dart between the shoulder blades, I'm a little confused. You want to slash the back and open. The collar should just touch the back of your neck. Well, it doesn't even have to touch. It's really just more about the angle of the collar. It should be angling into your head rather than angling up to the sky. If I turn this around, not that I have that laying quite right, but uh, you can see that it's going, it's following the direct, up to sidewards. You can see it's following the direction of the mannequin's neck. It's not going up to the sky. If I pull it like this and shorten that, you can see that now it's headed up to the sky. So what you want to do is slash a horizontal across the shoulder blades and add it here. And you can add up to an inch. Don't add any more than that, but add up to an inch. Okay. All right, is it comfortable? Stretch velvet sounds very warm to me. I just love it. I, I mean, but I, you know, I only sweat when it's 95 degrees. I, I can't, I certainly don't want to tell you it's wonderful and then you get it and you don't like it. It, you know, I would go into the store. Most of the stuff in the store is a polyester now, stretch velvet, try it on, kind of leave it on for a while and just see how it feels. I really like it. In fact, I almost think it has like a cooling effect because the inside is smooth. I don't know, I think it's beautiful. I think it's really pretty. Okay, um, would you have to hand wash the velvet with the chain? No, the chain is washable also. So you can just throw it all in. I When I found this chain, it's the first thing I asked. It's, it's galvanized or it's gunmetal, it's all finished. Now, the chain is hand sewn, so it might be a little delicate over something that's done the machine, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to machine wash it. And I, I feel it'll be fine if it comes off a little bit. It took me maybe not even 10 minutes just to come up the front of this on both sides. 
Anyway, I just think it's really beautiful. I know it's hard for you all to see, but it's just really pretty. Um, the fabric that I wanted to point out that it would go with would be 2022. It's a beautiful black with just a little red stripe in it. It's gorgeous. A little pair of slacks, pants, pull on yoga pants, any of those. It's a stretch woven would be really a beautiful combination. I've made the pants, but I just put the fabric up here because I don't have a pants mannequin, so I couldn't put the pants on. All right. Okay. So let's move on. That is that first thing, velvet, a velvet blouse of some kind. If you don't feel like you want to do a, um, a blouse itself, a blouse is probably more involved. Like the one I have on is a tank. This is a black velvet. I, I just love it. I just love the velvet. I can't get away from it. Every time I think, what do I make this in? Velvet. That'll work. Okay. So let's do picture number two and let me see what's on there. All right, so this is a little bow. I love that. I think it's very holiday. It's very soft and feminine. I kind of um, jazzed it up maybe just a little bit. So here's what I did. And, and you can see when you look at that bow and you can just kind of keep looking at it for a little bit, you could put that on anything. The little trim around the neck, you could do anything you wanted with that. So I started with Giorgio's top, 312. Um, the fabric here is $20.99. It's brand new. I just put it up. And I love this. It, it's really, it's got a little bit of purple, a little bit of blue. I'm sorry, a little bit of purple, a little bit of black, a little bit of red. Very, very festive looking, I thought. So then what I did is I took, and I had seen this again, several different blouses. This bow and this kind of lacing the neck is, I've seen several versions of that. So I took the leather and just kind of made three little loops in the front and the same, three little loops in the back, like literally like little belt loops, and then strung this leather right through it. Now it's a one inch leather trim, and that leather trim is $17.89, it's in the fabrics. So what I did is after I did that, I just kind of pressed an iron to it flat, and it kind of formed the leather, it was kind of cool. Leather is breathable, so it kind of shapes a little bit. So it doesn't lay completely flat by any means, but I just really like it. And then what I did is I made the little bow out of leather and I just tied the little one inch strip. So that's my version of it. And again, there were several patterns that I went back and forth with. I just really liked that bow. I really liked how it looked. And again, I thought it looked kind of holiday-ish. You know, I forgot to tell you guys, we're gonna have some giveaways tonight. Are we ready on this side, you guys? Or, or should, I mean, are, you wanna wait a few more minutes? And we forgot the, I forgot the word. You got it, you have to put that in. And let's do it now and then we can, uh, we can, here, Ben. Okay, so we're gonna, he'll set it up because the system has to have it a little while before I give it to you. Anyway, the first thing we're going to give away is a black book. It's the holidays. Um, the black book's on sale, but don't buy it, obviously, because you might win it. It's normally $200. It's on sale for $149, $150. All right, so we're going to give that away here in a little bit. Right now we can't because the system is still going to, it's got to register the code word that I'm going to give you. Okay, we forgot to do that. Sorry, beforehand. And then the other thing I'm going to give away is a roll of elastic. I had the funniest email the other day. A lady said to me, and I can't remember, I mean, it was like a funny quote, but she had all the elastic she'd ever use in a lifetime. It actually is not really about that. It's really about you'll spend way more than $50 many times over on elastic. And so even though you may not use it all, you'll, you'll save so much money by getting the roll. And you can cut it to any width you want. So it's just a great time. All your elastic needs are now finished. They're diminished for, for a long, long time. All right, let's go on to the next picture, if you don't mind. We'll put her back. And the next picture, this is kind of a fun little top. You know, when I looked at that top, I really liked the idea. I just knew that I wouldn't wear that much glitz. That's a little too much for me, even though what I liked about it was how they took and blended two fabrics together. I love asymmetric, I love one sleeve. I liked all of that. Um, so I did this with it. And so the first thing I did was I used a border print and the border print is new. I put it up. It's 2100 is the fabric number. I put it going around. 
So you can see that this half is light, this half is dark. Um, 118 is the pattern. So it can be off the shoulders, or if you don't wear it off the shoulders, you can wear it up. But one thing about these off the shoulders that I've seen quite a bit is they wear a shirt underneath. So it's not like you really have to be bare. It's just fun to have that open neckline because it's really, really flattering. So I didn't change anything on the pattern. It was really just placement on the fabric, pattern placement on the fabric. And again, because the stretch of the fabric goes that way, it was really easy to lay out that pattern and make it go across. So then what I wanted to do, because there's another trend that I just love that I've seen all over, is these pearls. Oh my gosh. And I've got a guy who in New York now who, man, I call him and he can just about get me anything. So he got me these pearls. And I don't know, again, if you can see it, but I, I sewed these pearls on. And what I liked about it is they have logic to them. So I've seen all these pearl blouses and they have pearls and they have a pattern to them, but they don't make any sense as to where they stop. And I like them, but I just can't really make sense or figure out the design end of them. Well, with this, I decided I'd put them on the navy portion down the sleeve and I just really like them. So these pearls, what they are is they have a little, it's called something, the guy in New York called them and I don't remember what it's called. But basically when they're sewn on, you can't see the holes in the back. So they're meant exactly for garments to be sewn on and they're just beautiful. They're not little, little and not big, big. They're just the right size. I've seen them put down the side of jeans. I've seen them all over the place. I'm sure you all have too, if you've shopped one little tiny bit at all. Pearls are everywhere. So that was my combination of pearls and off the shoulder and borders and glitz. That was a little bit too glitzy for me, but I really it got my juices flowing to make one side kind of different than the other side. And that's really what I like about this one. I love that whole asymmetric concept. Okay, do you think we're ready? Are we ready? Oh, can you? Okay. So the keyword, this, it doesn't matter if it's lowercase. Oh, all lowercase. I'm sorry. All lowercase. To win this, you're going to put in book. Book. B-O-O-K. Now, just to remind everybody who watches this after the fact, this is given away live only, only to those who are watching live. I know sometimes people email me the code and they put it, they write it in under the comments. None of those can win. We're going to give this away. This is just for you guys to say thank you for watching us live. And we're going to give it to whoever the computer picks. So book, B-O-O-K, -okay, and we'll give that just a minute and then we'll have a winner. And obviously it's for anyone. Uh, well, who doesn't have the black book, I guess. <laughs> well, if you already have it, you can still win and then you can give it to a sewing friend. That's kind of a cool idea. Okay. Let's answer some questions. Um, can you explain how to attach the elastic waistband to the pull-on skinny jean? Yeah, I think so. Um, I will use this elastic since I have it in front of me. So if you haven't shopped, it's probably a weird concept for you that the elastic actually is the waistband on a lot of the contemporary pants. So in that particular pant, that is a, um, that pattern belongs to Ellie Tahari. And so only the front part is a fabric and then the elastic picks up all the way around. So you sew the elastic, well you, you sew the, let's just say that I'm, I'm holding this down, you sew the elastic down lower and then you flip it up. And once you flip it up, the, the wrong side of the fabric was, the right side of the fabric was sewn to the elastic and so you have the pant actually affixed to the elastic and the elastic comes to your waist. So it's very simple to do. The hardest thing is probably is to see it um, as it is supposed to be rather than how you think it's supposed to be. Because the method is amazing and it's again very, it's very slimming, it's very tight against your body, not tight, but you know it's very flush, it doesn't have a lot of humps and bumps. And that's when I tried on the pants, I loved it. I noticed an immediate difference. A lot of times when we're wearing a waistband or something like that, it all pokes out everywhere. This is really flush and really nice. So the goal is the waistband shows, and just think about it, that the fabric starts at the right side and goes down. So you flip it up, sew it together, and then flip it back down. That's probably the easiest way I can help you understand that, okay? 
Okay, I bought fabrics uh, 2071 and 2068, both viscose knits. They are quite thin. Are they see-through? Are they... Uh, guys, I, I wouldn't know them. I give you the pattern, num the fabric numbers, but I don't know them all. I just write them down, so that's how I can give them to you. I email me privately on that. I, I would have no clue to tell. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you guys, but I I don't have any way of knowing what those fabrics are. All right, I answer emails. You know, every give me a couple days, but I answer all the emails. So you can always email me and ask me, and I'm happy to answer. Okay, so the give we have a winner. Yes. And that winner is, and you'll have to email me, whoever the winner is, and just let me know, and then we'll mail the book out to you. It is Evan Lee. Uh-uh, Evan Lee, are you watching? Hi, sweetie. Hi. It's so glad, I'm so glad you're watching. It is a big hug right through the camera. What a sweetheart. Evan Lee's from Atlanta. Um, she's my buddy. Oh, Evan Lee, congratulations, sweetheart. All right, I, you don't need to email me your address. I know your address. I've been to your house. That's how well I know you. All right, so we'll send you that black book. That is terrific. Way to go. Where can I buy heavyweight knit fabric? I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. I mean, I don't know fabric sources. Honestly, I don't ever get my head out of my tunnel. I'm in this tunnel I live in, I work in. It's hard for me to get my head out of the tunnel. Just Google heavyweight knit fabric, I guess. I don't have a source for that. Peggy, is the jacket you are wearing lined? I see the French dart. Which pattern? Zoanne's cape. It is Zoanne's cape, yes. No, it's not lined. It's Zoanne's cape, just like it is. I didn't actually make any changes. I just left off the collar. We'll get to that in just one second. Hang on. Can the pearls on a garment be washed in the washer and dryer? They can. They're real pearls. Remember, they came from the water. So here's the good news. Throw them back in the water. They might even get a little smile across their face. Throw them in the dryer, they might not like that. Um, I would just turn the garment inside out. That's kind of what I do when it has like crystals on it or decoration. I just turn the garment inside out and it's not quite so abrasive as it hits the sides of the dryer. But absolutely, wash them and dryer, dry them without any problem. All right, are we good there? All right, let's pull up our next photo. We've given away a black book. We are going to give away some elastic here in a little bit. Our next garment, oh, okay, this is, yeah, this is the jacket I have on. Okay, so what I did is I did it out of, um, this was my inspiration. Love those pockets, they're just nice big pockets. Notice how it's just meant to be worn open and there's not even a closure on it. Uh, there was different color fabrics, you could do all kinds. There's all kinds of ideas you could do with this. But again, my goal was to just keep it simple. I had seen this picture a while before I did the POM and I just didn't have time to get it ready for the POM. So I thought I'd bring it in for holidays. The lapels, again, I didn't do anything different other than add length. <laughs> I keep saying that. I didn't do anything different except I did two things. I left off the collar and I lengthened the pattern by eight inches. And of course I made the pockets. Um, the trim, this is a Rebecca Taylor fabric. It's, it's brand new. We just got it in. It's 2097. Um, and so, and it's trimmed up with the leather. And this leather is just beautiful. This is the one inch wide leather. And it's 1789. Very easy to work with. Fold it in half. If you don't stitch it quite right, cut it. You know, it's really easy to trim. And so the leather trim is across the pockets, the hem up the front and around the neck edge. And then with the sleeves, I just rolled those up just to make them comfortable. But I think the goal is what I did underneath is I did a tank top. A velvet it's got the little crystals right here at the neck I'm not sure you can see those um, again see I just pull out all my fun stuff where can I put these crystals I love them so it's just a little touch it's just a little sparkle I cut the tank top long so I could just wear it with leggings and so you can see it's just comfortable and easy and I like it I really like it so yes pattern of the month um, in Rebecca Taylor fabric Okay, with my great big pockets. And what I know about you all is you love pockets. That's what I know. All right, so how are we going? Okay. All right. Are we ready for that or no? Yeah, let's wait a little bit. Okay. All right, so that's the one I have on. So 
let's play now. Do we have another photo? Am I done with those photos? Yeah, okay. So there were some other things that I saw and I didn't, either the picture I took was really bad, it, it helped me, but it would never help you. <laughs> so I, I couldn't really share them. So I'm gonna just try to explain them the best I can and give you the origin for them. This right here is from, I also have to remember the designer. That's probably one reason why I take the pictures. Philip Lim. Philip Lim 3.1 it's called. Um, and I just really like it. It was different and I really like that. And it was kind of, it's kind of weird. So let me show you how I did it because that's kind of weird too. Um, this knit is a two-way knit. So when you're doing it, you'd have to have a knit that's two-way. A lot of what I'm seeing for the holidays is they are blending wovens and knits together and that is what this is. So this is the cowl neck front. And this is 196, the four-way Cardi, but only using one side of it. So this is a border print and it's new up also. And that is 2101. Um, hang, okay, the question, sorry. Let's do a question here. When you sew on the leather trim, do you serge it before sewing it on? No. Leave the edges raw. Don't serge the edges. It'll it'll not look right. They don't ever do that in ready to wear. So just if if you cut it yourself, just cut it one inch wide. If you order from us, just leave it just like it is. You fold it in half and you stitch both sides. Just try to fold it in half. You can press it in half. I don't, but you could. You could press it in half and that way you're sure it's in half. Because it doesn't have to be exact because if it's not on one side, you can just trim it off and it looks perfect on both sides. So it's very easy to work with. And I'll tell you up close, it's really rich looking. Um, when I was in Chicago, Linda, one of the ladies in the workshop, had done a black leather and black velvet bomber jacket, the 917. The black leather was just the middle part and then she did the sleeves in the black velvet Oh my gosh, it was just beautiful. It was rich. So I like what leather does to garments. It really just deepens the richness and velvet does the same thing and that combination was just really beautiful. So the reason I, I wanted to mention that I forgot is we had the black leather, it's, it was all gone. We had we put more up today. We got more in today, not that much. We have, so it probably not last long, but we had more coming in. Whenever we get it in, I mean, I'll put it back up. So just kind of periodically check back up. But even no matter when we get it, I will keep it at the Black Friday price. Well, it's not something we're gonna stock. So, but the pricing I got, I got on all of it. They just, it's coming from Italy. And so the shipment of it is really sporadic and I don't know when it's gonna come, but we'll honor all of it at the Black Friday price and then we won't have any, we won't carry it. Okay, so back to this little top here. So what I did is I took the 196, which is the four-way Cardi, and I cut it straight across, you know, just straight at an angle. So I placed the pattern right on the widest part of the border. This particular fa fabric has two border prints. It has the wider one here, and then it has the narrower one here that I use for the sleeve. So you can see they're matching, but one is like twice as wide than the other one. So out of the Cardi, I cut the front, I cut the back, which I just left, um, you know, there's kind of like um, patterns on this fabric and I centered it to the back. So the back, when you see it really close, looks very purposeful. I guess that's the best word I know how to say. And then of course the sleeves the same way, I just used the smaller border print to do the sleeves. Keep in mind there's two sleeves, there's two border prints. I mean, the one, like I said, the wider and the narrower. So it's really fun to kind of play with this fabric. Okay, so then what I did is I used the lace, and this lace I think is on sale for like $8.99 a yard. It's $16.57 is the lace. I did the lace out of the cowl. So I turned it on the bias and did the lace out of a cowl, just the front. Now also, you need to use your, when you cut that front cowl because it's a woven, you'll wanna use your knit armhole. So just use your knit armhole from the Cardi and it will work without a problem. That cowl armhole is more curved so just curve um, the armhole as well 
and that way you can see where it comes out. And I've been asked this question before, so let me just kind of make sure you understand. If you took a template, because on the cowl neck, things are slashed and, and spread, and so it changes the angle of that armhole, just take your template, copy it, and then slash it and spread it so that you can see if it matches or where it should go according to the two. All right, just simple thing to do. I had a question on that the other day in my emails. All right, so then what I did is I just attached one side. The cowl is narrower in the shoulder than the cardi. So the back cardi on this side, I made it match the cowl. I made it narrower. So it's more open on this side, if you notice, than it is on this side. And I just really like that when it's on. I think it looks really cute. Um, and then I stitched this down in the lace just to kind of hold it in place. I just ran my machine right through there. And then I came back on this side and added some crystals. And I'm not sure you can see those crystals, but it's just got a little sparkle there. And they're black crystals and white crystals. And the reason I did that was it pulls in, these crystals kind of pull in the other side of this garment, even though it's really a navy. But I just really liked them. And then I hemmed it all at the bottom. So the rest of it is just all sewn. The cowl underneath goes all the way to this armhole over here. So you've got a couple layers when you're doing that. And there you have it. Just a really fun little top. It's really cute. I just really like it. And it looks like you've got two tops on, but you've only got one. They're all connected. You throw it on and everything stays in place. It's really fun. Okay. How are we doing? Questions? How many inches wide is the diagonal strip? Oh, on this here, how many inches wide is the diagonal strip? I don't know off the top of my head, but I will come up with an answer here in a moment, just a moment. Approximately six. The wider one is six. Is that right? Well, keep in mind, I've got a I've, I hemmed that along there, so the actual fabric might be a little wider. Maybe closer to seven is the wider one. And the narrower one is four. Okay. How much leather trim did you use on your jacket? You know what? I forgot. I was going to measure that and I don't remember. I, I forgot to do that. How about one, two, three, probably four. Four. No, in the pockets. Say five. Five yards. That will get you there. I love your earrings. Thank you. No. They were a gift, so sorry. Um, how many skins does it take for a jacket? So you can't just generically say, the, answer that. You, but it's real easy, you guys. You take your, oh, you know what? The jeans or the leather DVD is on sale. Not for a lot, but let me give you the answer. The, all the stuff is in there. You just take your number of inches that your yardage. So let's say you need two yards. That would be 72 inches. You times it times the width of whatever that two yards is. So let's say 60 inches. So you go 72 times 60 and whatever that number is. And then you divide that by 144 because leather is done in square feet and a square foot 12 by 12 is 144. So you put everything in inches, number of how many yardage you need, how wide you need in inches, you times that, you divide by 144, you get how many square feet, and then the leather is between five to six square feet. We had the brown, I think the brown is all gone too, I believe, but anyway, those skins that we sent out, they're, they're really way larger than five to six. I just wanted you to make sure that you got it enough, so that's why I said five to six, but some of them are as large as nine. So most likely anybody who bought leather is going to have plenty of leather because they're pretty good sized skins. Okay, which fabric is on the back? Um, so far the back of every fabric is the same fabric that's on the front. I don't think I've used any different fronts and backs. I'm going to in a minute, I'm gonna show you this other top but I don't think I switched out any fabric on the back of anything. Um, can you use a sweater set pattern to make a fur vest? Sure, sure. I mean, I, I you're gonna leave off the sleeve, so you only need the body. And I've done that, I have one in that closet right there, but absolutely. And the fur is fabulous. 
And you know, guys, I forgot my fur collar. I was going to throw it on because it's such a great, the fur collar, check those out. Those are, um, I left it, I left them at the, all at the office. That fur is, where is it? I love that fur. You guys, I wore it the other day. It kind of has a little slit in it so you can insert it. That is just really cool. I don't know what it is. But anyway. 2084. Oh, is that what it is? Thank you. You guys are good. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. 2084. And the guy who sold me these, he sold me these. He had real ones, too. I said, no, I want the faux. The faux looks so good. It just looks really, really pretty. I don't know if our picture is that great, but it's really nice. Okay, so then I want to do tank tops. I want to talk about tank tops. The tank top I've got on and the tank top I made, both made them. This one I lengthened. It's black velvet. I used my crystals, pattern 514. I want to bring this one out. I know you can't see it back there. Let's bring this out. Maybe before we do that, we could have another drawing, you think? Let's do that. Another giveaway. I'm sorry. You're right. It's not a drawing. There's nothing to draw. All right. So I think we're ready. All right. So here's your word. If you're ready, the word is elastic. This does not take rocket science to figure this word out. Elastic is what we're going to give away. And you can determine E-L-A-S-T-I-C, lowercase E-L-A-S-T-I-C. Now, remember, if you enter more than once, the that bot thing will kick you out, so don't do that. It'll it'll disqualify yourself. And everyone can, except Evan Lee can win. <laughs> so this is, um, you can choose between black and white, just when you shoot me an email that lets me know that you won the elastic roll, just tell me what color you want and we'll send you whichever color. So I love this stuff. I, You know, I would never think I'd go through 50 yards, but I promise you I've gone through 50 yards. It's fun. It's fun to have around and not worry about, do I have to buy elastic? And you pay like four or five bucks for that little package. It's crazy. All right. So we're going to, um, uh, we'll come back to the drawing. I mean, to, I'm sorry, to the giveaway. <laughs> How many yards of the leather piping did you use on the jacket you're wearing? Ask al once already. Yeah, it was. That's okay. Um, I said five, five yards because for the pocket, depending on the size, obviously, if you want to make sure it gets your six. That leather piping's on sale, I think, too. We've got a whole bunch of great specials on sale. And during the week, you guys, we will not apologize. We're going to have some, like, flash sales. You know, just saying. If, you know, we're only going to have them for, like, a few hours. Don't get crazy if you don't miss them. It's not a big deal. But maybe just check your emails. How much longer did you make your black tank? I added six inches to the bottom. And because I knew how long this top was, I mean, the little jacket that goes over it, I, I wanted it to be long, but not too long. So six inches works really well for me. And you guys, when you make this stuff and you add length, go to that chart and write it down. Just write at the bottom, you know, the Brett chart. <laughs> um, finding your measurements. Go in, I always call it the Brett chart. You guys know what I'm talking about. But if you go there and you say, my black velvet tank added six inches, just write it down somewhere so that you, next time you go to do it, you'll know, do you want it longer? Do you want it shorter? You'll have some type of reference point as to where it comes to and what's the perfect length for you. Okay, that, that has really helped me. All right, are we okay? They're still coming in, so. They're not coming in? No, they're coming in. Oh, they're still coming in. We'll let it go for a little bit. Elastic, E-L-A-S-T-I-C. We'll make sure everybody gets a chance to kind of enter that giveaway. All right, so this jacket, remember, this jacket, the fabric was, we used it last time. It's the pattern of the month, and it's 2095. It's got the little um, circle on the, circle, I don't know what we called it, circle on the line. This is just a fun little jacket. So I decided to, as it was just a jacket over a tank last time, what I did is I made it a jacket over a little sparkly tank this time. So this fabric is wonderful for that. It's really netting. It's a see-through jacket. I, I just love that jacket. But what I did with this this time is I used this beautiful lace. And that is, I gave the wrong number before. I'm sorry. The black netting is 2043. And then this black lace is 2095. 
So the black lace, I just did the tank top, no changes to it. But if you notice the black netting is a woven. So again, ready to wear, I'm seeing it often is they're mixing woven and knit together. And it's absolutely fun because you only have to do the front in the woven. And so the back you pick up in a, in a knit. So this particular one I did 1990. It's a beautiful hand of a black knit. You can look at it and it'll give you all the information. So what I did on the front is I cut just the lace. Then I cut 1990, the black knit. I cut a front and a back. And I, you can do it several ways, but I cut it all as, I sewed it all as one. So I sewed the darts as one. I, I sewed every, the whole front as one piece. So just what I, when I connected to the shoulder, I had three layers, side seam, three layers. But I hemmed it, I hemmed the neck edge, I hemmed it all as one. And this is a black tank I'm sure I'll get a million miles out of because it's just a little bit of holiday splash and yet it's easy, it's quick, and I think it's just a really fun top, really fun. And again, to put over so many different things. This particular jacket, I think if you're going to something and you just want a little bit of, little bit of little bit, it just really works well. When I had made this jacket, I know I told you, I cut the collar a little bit shorter, so that made the little notch lapel. And right on the edge here, I used the selvage, and that selvage is amazing. It's just a great look. It's really cute. Okay, so I think we have, do we have a winner? We have a winner, good. It is Gail. Gulen. Gail, you won. G-U-L-L-O-N. All right, Miss Gail. Congratulations, you won. A lifetime supply of elastic. It's really not a lifetime supply. But anyway, you want elastic. Congratulations. You guys, thanks for watching. We really do appreciate our, our viewers. And you, hopefully, some of you made out like bandits. Okay. So next I want to do is bring out... We sold quite a bit of leather on Friday. I think it was all gone on Friday. But I just wanted to remind you that if for some of you, because you just bought a skin or something like that, it's beautiful to just use on a neckline or on a piece or a pocket or something like that. It's just really, really pretty. So I just brought that forward from last time. The pattern of the month is a great way to blend in a little bit of leather with non, with fabric. It's a great combination. Do we have questions? Do you launder the jacket with a leather trim on it? Yes, you can. Um, heat will dry out leather. So that's what's damaging is the heat. It's not the water, physically the water. So don't wash in a hot water because again, that's drying to the leather, but cold water on leather will not hurt it a bit. And then when I put something in the dryer, I only put it in the dryer for just a little bit and then I'll just hang it out to dry. But a lot of dryer, a lot of heat will dry out leather, so just be aware of that. I'd love to see the jacket better. Can you put it on the mannequin without the tank underneath? Which jacket? The one you're wearing. Just let us know what jacket you're talking about. When mixing woven and knit, do you need to adjust the size? No. No, because the knit is going to give you. See, here's the crazy thing when you really start to think it through. What do I need knit for? Two things. I need it to get it off and on, and I need it for mobility. Well, the back is knit, the sleeves are knit. So that's all I need. I, it doesn't matter even how tight the front is because the back is gonna, the back neck is going to stretch so I can get it on, and the back and the sleeves are gonna bend so I can move. So it's just a great, well thought out concept of how I can mix them. You couldn't do the front knit and the back woven. That would not work. You couldn't do the sleeves woven. I think you all get this. But the back and the sleeves are done in a, in a knit and the front is done in a woven and you can use the same size. Okay. I mean, I guess unless you have lots of negative ease, then no, you cannot. But in the case of a tank top, um, that particular pattern for me, I can do anywhere. If you're doing the sweater set, you'd probably have to change the size. But again, it depends on how much negative ease you like in your clothing. Would you sew the leather around the notch lapel? Sure, sure, you can do that. It's all styling, you guys. You can do whatever you like 
and how you want it. That's the goal. And I think it's really fun for me when you start seeing things like that because that means you are, you're going, your heads are spinning, you're just having fun out there. Okay, so there's, are we, are we good with that? Oh, the sheer jacket, is that, I see what you're saying. You wanna see that without the mannequin. I will do that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna undress this poor little lady here. She's probably cold, it's kinda of cool up here. And I'm gonna put this jacket on the mannequin so you can see it. All right, so I've got it inside out. I'm sorry, you guys. All right, so maybe that will help you see a little bit better. See, this is where I was saying, this is the pattern of the month. The lapel, the collar, I'm sorry, is cut shorter than the neck edge. So that's what makes a notch lapel is when the collar is shorter than the neck edge and you get a notch. So the rest of the jacket, I didn't make any changes to it. There's a French dart here. The sleeves you can see, I just rolled up a couple times, which is my favorite way to wear this jacket. And then it crosses just slightly and I put a little closure there, but that's it. Very easy and, and, and to make. This portion right here is the selvage of the fabric. So it's just a fun way to kind of finish the whole front edge. You probably could have done more with it. I just put it right down that front, okay? I put darts in the back and you can see in the back there, you know, I didn't do the darts, I take that back. I think I was talking about how you can just put in little pleats instead of darts. And so that's what I did. I just did it right there because it's mesh and see-through. I decided that just a little tuck and stitching it down would be a nice option rather than having that whole dart. The front I did, the French dart, I still stitched it just as it was. So you can see all of that, okay? And again, that fabric, I think I gave the wrong number. It's 2043. Okay, we can put her back. All right, so then what I was going to do was, because one of my favorite garments that I've worn this year is this cape. Nothing to it, nothing fancy, just the new cape. It's pattern number 98. So I decided, because I literally have lived in this thing, and for us here in Texas, it's like warm and then cold, and, and, and probably is for all of you. But I decided that um, this cape is like just perfect for, it's just cold outside, you can just throw it on and then take it off and be normal inside. So I just really like it. I'm gonna switch off my jacket and I'm gonna put on this cape because this is what we're gonna do for the sew along. So our Toys for Tots sew along is next Monday night. And there's a few reasons why we're doing it the way we're doing it. And that is because, gosh, I could live in this thing. I just love it. I mean, like I actually have two of them and I swear I've worn them out. <laughs> it's kind of a funky cape. I will tell you that it's kind of different. Remember that I don't, Peggyfy anything. I do it exactly like the designer did it because I always feel like they know more than I did. But I just love its funkiness. But anyway, um, so we're going to do this for so long. We were going to do it in two weeks, but that gets into Hanukkah and the holidays. We don't want to get into that. So next Monday night, we'll do two hours. We can get the cape done in two hours. Not a problem. I will practice and be ready for you all. Any questions you have about the cape, you can pre-submit them to me. And that way I'll kind of be ready with pictures or camera angles or whatever it is to really help you understand and work your way through it. We sold a lot of them, so I know you all already have the pattern. And so I wanna get everybody to make a cape. We'll put some fabrics up where you can, uh, and we'll say for pattern number 98, just to help you get some fabrics. But you can, this is knit, you can do them in a lot of different fabrics. It's really, really fun. I'm gonna sew it on a lighter color to make sure everybody can see. And that's our Toys for Tots, and that'll be next Monday night. Like I said, it'll be 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock. And I know for some of you that's late, but remember, we will record it. We'll put it on so that everybody can see, and uh, you won't miss anything, okay? But it is our donation. We'll start the donation sometime this weekend, and then we'll run the donation for probably, oh, probably two weeks, just to give everybody a chance who wants to to donate, and then we want to make sure it's in time also to get those kids some some gifts for the holidays, all right? Okay, also, questions, can I answer questions? 
Okay, how do you do the corners when doing the leather trim? Do you overlap? I overlap. So I lo have looked at ready to wear and I do it how ready to wear does it. So how they do it is the top layer or the higher layer always covers the lower layer. So what that means is you actually start at the bottom and you do that all the way around. And then you go up because this way up covers this around. And then the neckline covers the up and down. I don't think I've ever seen a mitered corner on leather trim, so I don't do that because, I, you know, I mean, I, I think it's beautiful, don't get me wrong, um, I've just never seen it. So that's the way, you start at the bottom and then you overlap what comes next. And it's a really easy kind of pattern to follow. Um, could you use a woven for the collar on and 15, on 115, I'm sorry, Anne's top? Yes, you could. Remember when you're going from woven to knit, remember two things. How do I get it off and on and how do I move? A collar doesn't inhibit you from moving, so you don't have to worry about that. And the, the neckline is large enough that the collar doesn't have to stretch to get over your head. So you could do that out of a woven as long as it has nice drape and that would be a great combination. It is a one-to-one -one combination, so you don't have to stretch anything for that collar to fit the neckline, so that would work well, okay? Um, how do you finish the edges on the sheer jacket? I literally serge them, turn them up, and stitch them. Nothing special at all. 98, I don't see a pattern number 98. That's because it's new, and we've still got it in its four pack. We don't have it on the individual pages yet. So if you go to the very front page, left hand column, you click on what's new or new fall 2018 patterns. Click on that and it'll open up to a page that has the newer patterns on that. We still haven't got them integrated in because we're about a month behind, but we'll get there. We're gonna get there. We got some time coming. Can I get the pattern this week if I order tonight? Yeah, we ship every day. Everything that's ordered tonight will go out tomorrow or Wednesday. So depending on where you live, I guess. I guess if you live in Australia, no. But if you live somewhat closer than that, probably. All right, are we good? Cape pattern number. The cape pattern is 98. All right. All right, so let's also talk about a, we have a Facebook page that is private and we are very excited about it kind of happen awkwardly, but nonetheless, we're extremely happy to be here. Um, I, it's called Silhouette Patterns Enthusiast, Patterns Enthusiast Explanation. And it will give you a place where you can talk, meet, greet everybody else and do however it is you want to do. And um, I, I think it'll be a real, I think you've asked for it a long time and we kind of probably dropped the ball and didn't do it. But anyway, it is up now and it is going. And you can just go to Facebook, go to the group section. It's not under individual, it's under the group. And you can sign up for it. It's private. So you got to answer a couple little silly questions. And I believe you have to belong to Facebook. I'm not, you know, kind of just the same as if you were on the public page. It's just private. So they, the photos that you share won't be shared with everyone all over the world. Our PBS 600 series is almost there. So I know some of you have waited very, very patiently. We'll start shipping those the end of December, just FYI, just so you know. And we are extremely excited about that. So I think that's all I've got. Do we need any more or do you have any more questions? All right, Gail, Evan Lee, don't forget to send me emails that you won. Congratulations. And you guys, mostly this time of year, it's just a, such a it's just such a fun time of year for us. We want you to really get a chance to enjoy those you love being around and get a little time to sew for yourself and put everything aside and hopefully you will. This week, all those specials that are going will go all through Friday. And like I said, we're gonna add a few more in here and there just to kind of make it fun. Um, but we are really looking forward to the holidays and hopefully we'll eat more than we can stand and you guys will all have a good time. So we will see you in a week. It is a week from tonight that will be our sew along and I will be sewing the cape. All right. All right. Any other questions before we wrap up?
All right, then you know what it is. It's called Happy Sewing. You guys, thanks again. Really appreciate you being there. Happy Sewing from Silla Patterns. And guess what? I get my chocolate. <laughs> It's chocolate time. I hope you all have a little piece of chocolate you can steal somewhere. If not, we'll share. Thanks so much. See you in a week. Bye.